think this event shows just how much Rin well has grown. I agree. She's come a long way from when we first met. Chisora, I'm not done growing either. There's no way Rinwell will end up taller than me, right? That's not the kind of growth we're talking about. Though your dignity shrinks by the day, Law. That was quite the little adventure we went on. <laughs> I'm hungry! So hungry! I can eat a whole horse by myself! <laughs> I bet. Hmm, speaking of dinner... I think it's Xion's turn to cook tonight, right? I believe so. Let's ask if she can get started sooner rather than later. If for no other reason than to settle Law down. Hmm? What? Something wrong? Hush. They sound quite excited about something. From what I've heard, a lot of people have been copying Kagari and Notio's wedding ceremony from last year. Yeah, it's a traditional Renan ceremony. But ever since they got married, it's gotten super popular, even among Danon couples. Uh, the whole thing was just so lovely. It was my first time attending a wedding, but I can definitely see the appeal. Lovely, yeah. Oh, and all the food they served was delicious, too. I know, there was so much food, but everything they served was carefully chosen. And you could taste the care put into every bite. And the flowers. The arrangement they chose for Kagari's bouquet was a perfect fit for her. Also, during the banquet after the ceremony, Kagari and Notia were telling me the whole story about how they found their new house. They said it was okay if it was simple and bare bones. They just wanted a warm place where they could spend their days together. I want that too. A joyous ceremony for a loving couple starting a new life together. <laughs> I guess dreams really can come true. It was a perfect day. <laughs> Sounds like someone may have been taking notes. N no, it's not like that. Anyway, Kisara, how about you? Me? Hmm. Well, I certainly don't think marriage is the most important thing in life. That said, I'll admit having a wedding ceremony does seem nice. Really? It sounds like you both feel the same way then. Oh, speaking of which, Kisara, do you remember what you said at Kagari and Notio's ceremony? About the bouquet toss? You mean how if you can't catch a bouquet, you'll end up always being single and alone? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. As it turns out, that isn't true at all. What? It isn't? Apparently not. I actually just found out recently myself. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have mentioned it without checking first. This is quite an interesting conversation in more ways than one. Seriously? Who cares about weddings and all that kind of stuff? Let's go already! I'm starving! If we must. Personally, I feel it's rather boorish of you to spoil their fun. Hey! You guys talking about weddings? Oh, you three are finally back! Yeah, it turns out weddings are all the rage these days. I have heard the same. There is no denying that Notio and Kagari's ceremony was a delightful occasion filled with warmth and understanding. That's for sure. Even after the ceremony was over, Xion just kept going on and on about how nice it had been. I... I don't know about that. Really? I guess I never realized. Law must be misremembering, that's all. <laughs> anyway, I've got a dinner to make. Seems like it's a bit of a touchy subject for her. It would probably be best not to press her on it. <sighs> What is it, Alpin? Is something the matter? No, sorry, I... I'm just realizing that there's so much I don't know. I had no idea that weddings were popular, that Xion was so interested in them. Any of it. Don't let it get to you. 
Paying attention to such things is simply not in your nature. Damn, Dohalim. Are you trying to cheer the poor guy up or rub salt in the wound? No, it's fine, Law. Dohalim is right. Still, it's something I need to work on. Otherwise, it could get me into real trouble in the future. Maybe someday I'll, uh, find someone I want to marry. If my bride is someone who cares deeply about the wedding ceremony, then that means it should be important to me, too. I don't want to use my own ignorance as an excuse to make my bride-to-be do all the planning. That would be a huge burden for one person to carry, right? That may be the case, but I'm still not sure what you're getting at. I just think that it's important to know about weddings. Not only weddings, but marriage in general. I need to learn more about them so I can be prepared. I want to do some research and fill in the gaps in my knowledge. That way I'll have the confidence to help out and make informed decisions when the time comes. But I've never done something like this before. I have no idea where to even begin. So... You're saying you want us to help you out? You got it! To be honest, I don't really know that much about the subject myself, though. Thanks, Law. Oh, speaking of which, you should definitely make sure to ask Xion for help. There's probably nothing about nuptials that she doesn't know. No. Sorry, but I, uh, want to keep this a secret from her. Because, um, doing this for my own benefit. So I want to do as much of it as possible on my own, without being a burden on anyone else. I realize I'm asking for some assistance from all of you guys, but I don't want to bother Xion with this. If I did, then I'd end up relying on her too much. I really want to avoid that. So, I want to do this research, but I also want to keep Xion from finding out about it. Can you help me? Whoa, that was a whole lot of words. But I think I get what you're trying to say. You could have just said you don't want to cause trouble by not knowing anything, because you finally decided you want to marry Xion. Ow! You need to work on your filter law. You don't have to say every thought that pops into your head. You aren't a little kid, are you? Ah! <sighs> Sorry. My, my. Those growing pains can sure pack a wallop. At any rate, I think I speak for all of us when I say we are sympathetic to your cause. We shall assist in your research and keep it to ourselves. You should go about this endeavor in your own way. If you do not wish to involve Xion at this time, then so be it. But be mindful that should she find out, you'll likely need to explain all of this to her. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble one. I'm rooting for you, Alfin. Thanks, all of you. I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity to gather as much info as I can. So, Alfin, what kind of information are you after first? What's the most important thing to know about weddings? Hmm, flowers maybe? You know, Xion was saying something about bouquets. What was that, Rinwell? Uh, nothing. I didn't say anything. I agree, though. Flowers that match the bride are a must. They are, right? By the way, will our cover be okay? I don't want Xion to know what I'm up to. We're good. Kisara's on Xion distraction duty, so we should have plenty of time. We'll make sure Xion keeps busy while you're gathering information. That way you should be able to keep it a secret from her. Thanks. I don't mean to cause trouble for everyone just because of some weird whim of mine. We don't mind, but be sure to explain everything to Xion at some point. So, you need info on flowers. What do you want to know exactly? What kind of flowers are best for a wedding? If there are any special kinds you need? That kind of thing. White's the best color, right? Hmm. I think you should talk to an expert on the subject. Anyone come to mind? Well, I don't know how much he knows about flowers, but Mahavar sailed around the world. Maybe somewhere on his travels he picked up some knowledge about flora. He's taken us out on his ship lots of times. Starting with our pursuit of Almadria. He's in Thessalum now, right? I'm pretty sure that's what Dohalim said. Let's go see if he can help.
I was able to distract Xion. I hope she doesn't suspect anything. That's great, Kisara. The way forward is clear now, thanks to you. Yeah! Let's hurry and go ask Mahavar about the flowers! Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Mahavar, uh, can we have a minute? Oh, Alfin! How you been? What's with the serious face? I've come to glean some of your worldly knowledge. Do you know what kind of flowers are best suited for a wedding ceremony? F flowers? For a wedding? Yeah. Do they need to be a special kind? Any practical information you have would be helpful. I think some kind of pretty white flowers would be best. Whoa there, hold on just a minute. I'm glad you thought of me for advice, but you know, I'm not really the flower type. Oh, can't you remember anything? It's super important. If the flowers are for a wedding, then why not just use whatever kind of flowers the bride and groom both like? Hmm, there's no particular type that I like. Heck, I barely even know the names of any flower. Wait, Dolphin, it's your... Ah, uh, I think I get it now. In that case, I'll give it some more thought. Hmm, maybe... Ah, that's all wrong. Oh, there's a Calaglian legend that's perfect for this kind of thing. A legend? Yeah, they say there's a rare flower that grows only in Calaglia. The legend goes that if you wear it, you'll be happy forever. Really? I never heard that one. Now that you mention it, I think I read about that flower before. If you ask the Calaglians, I'm sure they could tell you more. Then it's probably quickest to ask the Crimson Crows for info. Thanks, Mahavar. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Same goes for you. I won't press you for details on your plans, but good luck. Thanks. See you around. A flower that makes you happy when you wear it. What a beautiful legend for Calaglia to have. It may be difficult tracking down real information about the legend, though. It sounds more like an ancient fairy tale. We'll have better luck if we ask people in the area where the flower can be found. We've reached our destination. I see someone who looks troubled about something. A little compassion can make all the difference. I propose we speak to them. Tilsa, I didn't know you'd come back here. Yeah, I switch off between here and Pelagian. What's with you, Elfin? You in some kind of trouble? No, not exactly. I'm looking for a certain flower. I heard that a flower that makes you happy when you wear it grows around here. A flower that what? It sounds like crazy talk. It's supposed to be rare and only grows in Calaglia. You haven't heard of it? Rare, huh? It could be that one flower. You know, the white one that grows in the Iglia wastes. Oh, that one. I've certainly never seen it anywhere else, but I didn't know it had that kind of legend attached to it. So why do you need this flower that makes you happy anyway? I'm uh, doing some research on wedding ceremonies. I don't know anything about them, so I thought I'd start by looking into bouquets. In my research, I heard about a perfect flower that grows in Calaglia, so I decided to track it down. I see. Wedding ceremonies, huh? If you're looking into that kind of thing, I assume you... You've got your reasons, right, Alfin? I wish nothing but the best for you. However, the area where that flower grows has been full of zoogles recently. 
They may have trampled all the flowers fled. Guess we'll just have to go and see. Thank you for all the information. Hang on. Why are Tilsa and Nath grinning like fools? You figure it out. You think maybe he wants the flowers to make a bouquet? To give to someone? You mean Alfin? You planning on making someone special the happiest woman in the world? Wait a minute. I never said anything like that. I'm simply trying to learn more about weddings. You traitor! I'm supposed to be the first. Then it's your turn! No, you're misunderstanding. It's really not like that. Nath, back me up here. If we're jumping to conclusions, then just ignore that ignoramus and go off to find the flowers. But be careful. Thanks. I appreciate it. Wait, Alfin! Ah, damn it! Let's head to the Iglia Wastes. We might get to see the actual flowers we could use in a bouquet up close and personal. Right. I just hope Zoogles haven't destroyed them. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Now I'm real mad. Is there anything more magnificent than the musculature of a warrior? Perhaps it is in search of this perfect beauty that I myself am drawn into battle. amazes me every time he does that. Yeah, the way they grow before your eyes really is astounding. Hey, Dohalim, what would happen if you tried to cast that on a person instead of a plant? I don't know. I've never made the attempt. Are you seriously going to ask him to cast that on you just so you can be a little taller? Are you crazy? How'd you know that's what I was thinking? You are a young man of straightforward goals, Law. It was an easy guess. Take this! Stardust! Runa Rondo! Here's the 
Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Blade. See that? Get that training's way. paying off! But don't go too far. Stay close. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Those two really haven't changed a bit. You fight better at a distance. The further away, the better. You and I both. We all could think. Don't do it. one's mine. Take that. Do it. Sonic Rock. Never deny. Hold on. Move it. Between heaven and earth. Thanks for the healing. Watch yourself, okay? Yeah. You too. They really are beautiful flowers, but they've all been trampled, like we feared. There are a few that aren't harmed, so these are the flowers that can make you happy. Got it. Learned something new. It was nice to see the real thing. Since we took care of the zoogles that trampled them, they should grow back soon. You're right. If someone wants them for a wedding bouquet, they'll probably be able to pick some here. Though it may take a while for enough to bloom for a whole bouquet. <sighs> Something wrong, Rinwa? It's nothing. I just had a lonely thought. Lonely? What thought? I was imagining your wedding. Your bride might be someone very close to me. A dear friend. This was just a thought, remember? But if it is someone like that, I'd naturally be overjoyed for two people I love. But at the same time, I'd probably feel a little like I was losing my closest friend. Rinwa. Alfin, if it does turn out that way, you have to promise me you'll take care of her forever. <laughs> Look at me. I can't even picture it without welling up. Rinwell, I haven't made any decisions about my future. So you should put thoughts like that out of your head. But you really care about that friend of yours, don't you? I'm sure if this friend heard what you just told me, she'd be very happy. I feel like I should thank you. Thanks, Rinwell. You're welcome. Ugh. I'm sorry for wasting your time with my crazy thoughts. No, it's okay. Oh! And I had another idea. When a bride throws the bouquet, only one person can catch it, right? I always thought that was unfair. Maybe you can do something about that. Like, give one flower to each person or something. Isn't throwing the bouquet part of the fun? If you hand out flowers instead, then won't some people be disappointed? You may be right. Maybe there's some other way. What do you think, Hoodle? <coughs> Hoodle and I will talk it over. If we come up with something good, then maybe it'll take off. Hey, Hoodle! Think we could discuss that bouquet we were talking about earlier? <laughs> Sounds fun. What did you want to talk about? Xion! Uh, I... Uh, n nothing! We were just playing around! Really? Ah, guess I'm... Read the ending.
All right, let's get back to gathering info on wedding ceremonies. You and Rinwell looked into flowers, right? So what's next on the docket? I'm thinking food should be next. The food at Kagari's wedding was really amazing. I still remember it. That's so. Hey, didn't I hear something real similar from Xion? <gasps> that was close. I almost let something slip. I uh, don't know anything about that. I just have an interest in wedding foods. What should be served, how it should be prepared, stuff like that. True, you can't just serve anything you want that tastes good. If you served hot dogs at a wedding, people would riot. Yeah, wedding food should be a treat for the guests. So I'm sure Danons and Renans will each prefer different things. Let's start by looking into the Renan side. Yeah, I agree. We can begin by asking Dohalim. Ah, sorry. Dohalim's on Xion distraction duty. I'm doing my best to keep her in the dark, too, so we've got to be sure she doesn't overhear us. Hmm, I see. In that case, maybe Dohalim's friends Avakir and Faria can help us out. Ah, those two that were on Lenigus. They're over in Pelegian now, right? Yeah, that's a good place to start. Let's go see them and see what they have to say. Dinner at a wedding reception. What would you pick for the menu, Law? I'd want a bunch of tasty meat. Just pile my plate with meat and I'll be happy as a clam. <laughs> I should have known you'd say that. And I imagine you're not the only one who feels that way. Right? But since it's a fancy shindig, I guess you probably need some fancy food, too. True. I hope Avakir and Faria can give me some good suggestions. Finally made it. I know it's sudden, but Dohalim's busy, so we were hoping the two of you could tell us a bit about Renan customs. I'm surprised you'd come to us, but we'd be happy to help out a friend of Dome's. Huh. I didn't know weddings were popular here. They're a custom that goes way back on Renan. What kind of food do you serve at Renan weddings? Let's see, for the guests... Oh, you've got to have a huge cake. The bride and groom cut the cake together in front of all the guests, then feed each other a slice. They feed each other? I'd be too embarrassed to do something like that. Wait, Alfin, are you asking about weddings to prepare for your own? In that case, you've got to make sure your partner has a say. But I guess that would be tough if you want to make it a surprise. Uh, no. I'm just curious, so I'm doing some research. I'm not keeping this a secret because I want to surprise someone. I'm just not familiar with the customs and want to learn. I see. Seeking knowledge on subjects out of your wheelhouse is a noble pursuit. <laughs> You've taught us a lot. Thanks, Avakir. Thanks, Faria. Now that we've learned about Renan customs, why don't we ask someone about the Danon ones? Sure, but who should we ask? I guess we could start by going to see Doc. Sounds like a plan. Let's head to Uzlebeck. Does Doc's knowledge include weddings and food and stuff like that, too? I'm not sure. But the more I think about it, I suppose those aren't really his areas of expertise. I guess I might have a bad habit of turning to Doc whenever I have a problem. You must really trust him. It's good to have someone like that when you're lost or confused. And he clearly doesn't mind. Finally made it. Hey, if we find anyone who needs help here. I know. We'll make sure to ask what's wrong. Hey, Doc. 
there's something I want to talk to you about. Weddings? I don't even know what that is, let alone what kind of food you should serve. Calaglio was poor, and we couldn't even afford to think about stuff like that when we were slaves. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I've heard of weddings. They're ceremonies for people that are getting married, right? Married, you say? Alfin, you thinking of settling down? It's more that I haven't thought about it enough, so... I want to prepare a little for when the time comes. I was all prepared to take a parental role and give you my blessing. But you're not tying the knot? You know, Alfin, you really haven't changed at all. Maybe not. There's still a lot I don't know. So much I have to learn. So if Doc doesn't know anything, what now? I can't think of anyone else who might know about weddings. Do you know anyone who's done that marriage ceremony? If you do, maybe you could ask them. Oh, right! We do know one couple. Kagari and Notio. Of course, why didn't I think of asking them? We attended their wedding, and theirs is the one that set off this whole wedding craze to begin with. They're the perfect pair for us to talk to. Then our next destination is set. I'm sure they'll have all kinds of useful information. Seems like everything's settled here, then. Good luck, Alfin. Next, we should go to Kagari and Notio's place. Let's head to Thistleum. They sure get along well. Like they're in their own little world together. Well, they're married. So that's a good thing, right? Yeah, for them. But it's hard to know how to respond when they're acting like that. Finally made it. Oh my, hello. Are you here for Notio? Or did you come to see me? Both of you, actually. Can we ask you some questions about wedding ceremonies? Of course. It would be our pleasure. Our wedding ceremony is one of my most important memories with my beloved Kagari. Ask us anything. What should we talk about first? How about the day I decided to marry my sweet Notio? Uh, sorry. Maybe we can get to that later. For now, I want to know about the food. See, I'm currently gathering information on food that's served at weddings. What kinds of dishes guests will enjoy, that kind of thing. You two have experience, so I was hoping you could share your insight. Of course. We'd be happy to. Our ceremony was very simple, but we did it our way. We didn't worry too much about Danon or Renan traditions, we decided to do whatever made us happy. It's the thought that counts, after all. I think you should prepare whatever the couple wants to eat. Or something they want their guests to eat. The thought that counts. Taking care of your guests, you mean? Thank you. That's helpful. Oh, and we prepared dishes with ingredients that are said to be auspicious. Since everyone came all the way just for us, we wanted our guests to feel happy, too. Everyone who attended seemed to enjoy it. 
so I recommend doing the same. But gathering everything was quite an ordeal, remember, Notio? We were only able to serve what we did through sheer luck. What do you mean by sheer luck? The merchant we talked to said it was a miracle he got everything, and that he'd never be able to manage it again. Wow, it's that much trouble. And it may be tough to procure those kinds of ingredients. If that's the case, we should try to gather everything ourselves and see what we can do. Uh, you want to gather things now? Even though you're not getting married yet? Yeah, I want to make sure I know how to get what I need. I want all my bases covered. <sighs> okay. You sure put your all into things you're serious about, huh, Elf? I appreciate your help, Law. So, what kinds of auspicious ingredients should we go after? Seabream is a high-class fish with an elegant taste, so it's often seen in celebratory meals in Thistleum. They also said something about lemons bringing good luck. I don't know why, but they said it'll keep you from catching a cold. Where I'm from, we eat rat pig meat on special occasions. It's supposed to be good for your health. Sounds like certain ingredients carry special meaning. We'll see what we can scrounge out. Oh, wait. I already have the ingredients you just mentioned. Uh, this is what we were after, right? You've already got some auspicious ingredients. And I went on and on about how hard it'd be to get them. Seems I was wasting my breath. It definitely wasn't easy. Okay, I think we got a handle on how to gather what we need. We should be able to lend a hand next time someone's having a ceremony. I also know what to do to prepare for my own wedding. Yeah, if I ever have one, I mean. <laughs> How about that? I think we got some good info. Uh, if you're doing all this to prepare for your own wedding, you should fully understand what your partner wants before planning the menu. What my partner wants? Ah, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to be nosy. It's not like that, Kagari. But people keep telling me the same thing. To take my partner's wishes into consideration. But I'm still just doing research, so I don't really understand what that means. So you're doing research to understand what you want for yourself. I think that's wonderful, too. Some people are satisfied as long as they end up married and don't do any planning at all. Those kinds of people are the worst. Yeah, that was a close one. We got some great advice. So I think that should about do it for our culinary investigation. I feel like there was some other auspicious food, but I can't recall what it was. What? There's more? I'm sorry, but I'm sure there was some delicious and auspicious food that both Renans and Danans enjoy. It was the hardest one to get our hands on. Someone knowledgeable about gourmet should know what it is. Well, now that's got me curious. We've already come this far. We should try to gather some ingredients. I knew you'd say that. But how are we supposed to do that when we don't even know what you want? Ah, maybe that old man will know. You know, the one traveling around in search of fine delicacies? Gordino. He's definitely the perfect person to ask. I know, right? Let's go talk to him next. Thanks for all the help, both of you. I hope what we shared was useful. I wonder where our old foodie friend is now. We'll probably run into him if we go somewhere famous for its food, right? I hope he hasn't collapsed again while searching for his next culinary obsession. Look. 
Looks like we made it here in one piece. Isn't that what we were asked to find? You guys want to rest here? I should give that artist shot sometime tomorrow. <sighs> How unusual of you to eschew proper etiquette, Dohalim. Having been temporarily relieved of my duties in Pelegion, I want to enjoy some respite from the chaos. Your work there isn't all that bad, is it? Well... While drowning in a sea of paperwork, I find that memories of our travels together constantly tempt my scattered mind, even though I'm well aware that it wasn't all gaiety and glee. It's natural for the mind to wander when it's been occupied with work for too long. Besides, our travels weren't all hardships, either. What about you? By all appearances, you seem to feel truly at home here. Do I? I suppose I like it there for the same reasons you do. I think I know what you're trying to coax out of me, but no, not now. Not while duty calls, I suppose. Oh, how I look forward to retiring and leading a quiet life. Don't expect to be able to retire that easily. You still have a lot left to do before then. But you can do it, Dohalim. You aren't alone, after all. <laughs> Nothing could be more invigorating to hear. To a bright future. To a bright future. Hmm. Something still on your mind? Do you think you'll ever call me Doe again? Ah, oh, you're hopeless. Of course I will. Whoa! <laughs> Time to make you all proud out there, just like I always do.
We've reached our destination. I see someone who looks troubled about something. A little compassion can make all the difference. I propose we speak to them. Oh, look who it is. What can I do for you? Got more questions about gastronomy? <laughs> An auspicious food for weddings that both Denons and Renans enjoy. I know a few things that fit the bill. Okay, so are any of them something that, uh, that, um, <clears throat> she likes? Huh? What was that? Speak up! I, uh, well, it's, uh, Shion. I need something Shion likes. Wow! What are you so angry about? What did I do? You didn't do anything wrong, Gordino. Shion's name just kinda came to mind. Just leave it at that. Well, I've got no idea what's going on. But I know just the thing for that young woman who's always hungry. Oh, come on, just say it already. Danons love it, Renans love it. That young woman who is always hungry does too. And it's auspicious. Boss Fish checks all the boxes. In the gastronomy world, they say that if you eat a Boss Fish at a special occasion, your family will be bestowed with safety. I didn't know there were legends like that in gastronomy. But it sounds like Boss Fish is perfect. We'll scrounge some up. Oh, it won't be that easy. Boss Fish are hard to find. However, if you aren't able to pass this test, you won't get my blessing to marry my daughter. But who said anything about marrying your daughter? I don't need your blessing. Obviously, I'm joking. I don't have a daughter, but I've always wanted to say that. At any rate, I'm not kidding about Boss Fish. Good luck getting your hands on some. You'll need it. Sorry it's taken so long, but we're finally nearing the end of our ingredient search. Don't get careless now. We need to save our strength for the battle with the boss fish. Wow, she's really into this. To think, the day would come where I... You haven't gotten the boss fish, then I'll have to... We've reached our destination. Oh! Everything looks fine with the lure. All right, let's do this. Okay, change of plans. Ha! There we go. She's got a good size to her, all told. That flapper was a true fighter. Ha! I've got a good feeling about this one.
Well, that wasn't much of a challenge. Nice! You caught it! Time to try a different spot. Everything looks fine with the lure. All right, let's do this. Catch something decent. Indeed. Hungry bellies are counting on this. Hey, what do you think about that spot? Good idea. I'll go for that one. Everything looks fine with the lure. All right, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> 